So good morning. I drove up yesterday from Meteora to uh, a region called Zagori in the western Pindos Mountains. And I've come down this morning to a village called Kipi, which is just up here behind me. And it is very well known for uh, the traditional stone arch bridges, such as the one you can see down the stream here behind me. And um, so I've come down to photograph it. The only problem being that uh, we have snow forecast today and the sky is totally, totally flat grey, uninspiring, as you can see, all the way around. So we'll see what we can make of it. It's very slippery on the uh, rocks there, on the ramp coming down. I practically came down on my backside sliding down because it was the safest way. So I'm just trying to make my way to the river now to see if I'll be able to make anything of this bridge. Uh, again, once again, there's a massive tree growing across the water there, which uh, kind of blocks the uh, the bridge. So I'll see if I can make it across to the other side somehow. Um, still, it might be interesting anyway. I'll. Uh, set the tripod up and have a go I guess. We'll see. set my composition and I've uh, set my ISO to 160 uh, at f11 and I, I'm shooting a two minute exposure. I've got on the front a polarizing filter to cut reflections of the surface of the screen as well as my 10 stop meter density filter to give me that long exposure so I can really smooth out this water. And we'll see what that gives me in just a minute. first few snowflakes are uh, starting to fall, so uh, this could make it even more interesting. Let's see my first exposure. And that actually looks really lovely. So I'll just recompose, try a slightly different composition. that reflection and expose it in.
I might even um, convert that into black and white because it's a very dark scene anyway. It's pretty graphic as well with the, the grey uh, stone of the bridge and the uh, cliff behind and the trees looking bleak as well with the snow covering them. I think it might make a nice uh, black and white image but we'll see that later on. Okay, so I've got the uh, camera just shooting one more exposure. Um, I'm going to try doing a three-shot panoramic, so I get this um, curve behind me of wall with the water behind, underneath and then the bridge just there as well. So I'll do a three-shot panoramic and see how that turns out as well. Before I do move on to the next location, what I thought I might do, there's a couple of rocks here in the stream that um, have frozen and have got nice little uh, icicles so I might try and do a long exposure of one of those with the icicles dripping as well and the water rushing around them so we'll see how that turns out as well. Let's have a look at that picture on the back of the camera. And that looks pretty nice. What I might do is focus stack it so that this rock as well is sharp and this one. So I'll do another couple of shots focusing firstly on this one and then on that one as well because at the moment I've just focused on the ice which is just there. So we'll retake that and see what that looks like. So I've refocused on the nearest rock and then it goes again. And then I'll repeat the process refocusing on the on the top rock. Okay, so the snow is starting to come down a little bit more heavily now. So uh as soon as I'm done taking this uh, shot of the uh, icicles on the uh, rock in the water, I'll uh, make a move to my next location. Well, I'm back in the car again and uh, unfortunately the snow is really coming down now and um, settling pretty fast even on the roads which is making it very difficult driving conditions so I don't think I'll be able to get to any of the other locations um, to do some more photography uh, it's not actually photographing in the snow is not the problem it's the problem is actually getting to those places so I think I'm gonna have to call it a day here and head back to the hotel um, uh, and spend the rest of the afternoon processing up these images and um, putting together this video. So um, hopefully you'll see those images in just a second uh, and if I can I will stop off along the way um, try and get an extra image or two. Um, so thank you again for watching, thank you for subscribing and liking my videos and um, don't forget to uh, ring the bell uh, if you'd like to receive notifications of the next video. There will be more videos coming up from this location in Greece uh, and others. Uh, tomorrow is forecast to be bright sunshine so with any luck we'll have a nice fresh layer of snow, beautiful sunlight and uh, should make for some lovely photos. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.